Ken Callender, minus the Holidaying John Tapp, and minus his not inconsiderable punting kitty. Thanks a lot, Bear. Yes, as usual, racing all over Australia yesterday. The main race was up in Brisbane, the Tattersall's Cup. The winner, the local hero, Chris Muntz, aboard Umpala. Here's Alan Thomas's call. Umpala into the clear and restitution on the outside. A press of the leader. Umpala's trying hard to pick up a presser. Restitution running home. Here's Umpala. Umpala's getting to a presser than restitution. Umpala takes the lead and Umpala wins the Tats Cup. In Sydney, I think the race that'll hold the best form line was a 1,200 metre two-year-old race won by Irish Moss. The three place getters have all got big futures. Irish Moss, over a longer distance than yesterday, Dominio and Flaming Hot. You should back Flaming Hot. Uh, at his very next run. Here's yesterday's action. Irish Moss and between them trying ever so hard. Flaming Hot, a line of three. All the horses not refusing to give in. It's close to a dead heat. It might be Irish Moss on the outside. Down in Melbourne, the rain fell all day and it made it very tricky for punters. The main race was a 1,000 metre sprint. Halfway down the straight, it looked grey, grey, grey with three greys in the first four horses. The winner eventually was Proud Value. Here's John Russell's call. Proud Value is joining in and down the outside. Balmoral Bar Regaldi still in front. Proud Value starting to flash down the outside. The three greys have it at the moment. Proud Value hits the front. Proud Value will win it. Proud what to Value make of racing yesterday? Well, I think we'll let Melbourne go because of the weather. If Umpala comes south, he can win down here. He's pretty smart. And of the Sydney horses, well, the horse I mentioned, Flaming Hot. You stick with him. Thanks, Bear. Go on, you can. Thank you very much. And Max, that's it for now, but I'll check with you before we finish. Yeah, look forward to it, Bear. Late in the show, we'll highlight those plays of the week that sparked our imagination. So don't go away.